Hello, 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 everybody. This is your boy Rascal. So I just want to do a quick video, real quick, of you know, to show you guys how to update your GTA 5 EXE file and your launcher. So I just got in helping, you know, somebody, uh, and you know, he was trying to play LSPDFR, and he, you know, he couldn't. Well, man, you know, his rage said his game version was the 1604, so on and so forth. Okay. And I, I've been meaning to do this, but I keep on forgetting. But I'm going to show you all real quick. It's really simple, guys. Really simple. After this video, I am going to go to bed. But uh, work in the morning. But anyway, let me get right to it. And yeah, that's my copy. You know, got to make some backups, right? But uh, all right, this is what you would do, guys. So you would go ahead and go to your directory, okay? Oh, I forgot, man. All right, I'm going to have to do it this way. So just go ahead and go to your directory. It's going to be these two files right here, guys. So let's just say, you know, mine says the 1604, not the 1737, okay? Delete those, okay? Delete your EXE, which is this right here, and then delete your launcher, okay? Just right-click, delete, boom, they're gone, okay? And then after you do that, go ahead and exit out. Head to your Steam. This is for Steam users only, okay, guys? I'm trying to find a way of how to do it for you retail version folks, okay? But this is, you know, for Steam, all right? So after you delete those two files, your EXE and then your launcher, head over to your games library, all right? Click on, right click on GTA 5. Go to properties, okay? Go to local files and then view and in integrity of game files. You might have to do it twice, all right? It's all right. You might have to do it twice. My highest I had to do was twice. That's it. Two times, guys. Two times. That's all. But after you do that, it's going to take a little while. But it's gonna realize that you don't have, you know, your your exe file and your launcher in in the directory, so it's gonna replace it for you guys, and then it will replace it with the updated version, which is 1737. All right, that's all, guys. That is all. That is how you fix it, and you should be good to go. And then after that happens, I would go back, copy everything in your GTA 5 directory paste it in a new folder that's you know for your copy you see how that says copy so you can have a backup guys like this is my third one I actually got another one on my other screen but see this is my main okay and then that's my copy and I actually had to I switched over like this was my copy before but I just switched it but uh so the RDE file fucking fucked my shit up guys all right it fucked it up uh, I had it before. And I don't know what I did wrong this time, but I tried to install it this time and it just crashed my whole. I couldn't. I couldn't play, so that's why I had the spare. I just deleted that file, renamed this one, and bada bing, bada boom. But uh, <laughs> that's all you guys do, okay? That's all you do. All you do. So yeah, that's how you fix the version, okay? So you will be able to play, you know, GTA 5. You will be. You will be able to play it. well LSPDFR or anything. You can play GTA 5 too. Like it don't really matter. But you'll be able to start Rage, you know, it'll say your latest game version, blah, blah, blah. You're good. All right, so that's all for this video, guys. I'm, like, I'm serious. Like, it's that simple. So if you want, I can run through you again. So, delete these two files. All right, I'm going to highlight them. Delete those. Right click, delete. Okay? That's all. And then go to Steam. All right? Go to Steam. Go to your library or, your, you know, or your games. It don't, really don't matter. Right click on GTA, alright, go to properties, okay, go to local files, and then verify integrity of game files, guys, okay, that's all you gotta do, it's gonna look like this, alright, I'm gonna cancel it though because I don't need to do it, but that's all you gotta do, alright guys, alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it though, and I'm telling you, it's gonna work, alright, if, if it don't, then I don't know, it's weird, but it should work, alright, I promise you right now, it's gonna work. So I don't care. Give me like 10 dislikes on this video. I don't I don't even care. Do like 10 dislikes, please, all right? Do like 5 likes and 10 dislikes. That's what I asked for. But I'm telling you guys, it's going to work for you. I promise. And Steam, okay? Steam users, all right? Obviously, right? Like I'm on Steam. For you uh, retail folks, version peoples, my bumpers. I'm asking around in my dude's Discord, Project City. He's a... A great mod or two for GTA, and but I believe he got the Steam version, and I'm pretty sure there's others that have, you know, the retail version. But I got to see how to validate files on there, or you can try to check it up on YouTube. Uh, but I might do a video on that just to show you guys, even though I don't have the retail version, 
I know some other folks do too, though. So, yeah, guys. See, and that's done. Actually, like, my backup's on this monitor right here. See, I got another one, guys. Another one. See? It's just good to have backups, everybody. It's good. So, if you mess up, boom. But, yeah. I wanted to make this short, so I just want to let you know that's how you do it, all right? So, you will be able to start up Rage. You know, you will be able to play LSPDFR. All righty. So, yeah, guys, um, this is your boy Rascal. I'm about to log off, go to bed, work in the AM. But uh, please check out my other uh, videos, man. I did updated versions since, like, a couple days ago. Uh, same as the previous ones before, but I ain't getting close to 3,000 views again on them. That was awesome, though, because the update just dropped for GTA. So, But anyway, have a good night, everybody. <sighs> and until next time, peace.